Hey guys, Wedge here, bringing you another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video and today I'll be showing you how to start the Fly-by-Wire A320 Neo. Once you're in your cockpit, it should look like this, screens off, no lights and illuminated. First thing you want to gonna do is go to here, where the mouse is, it says BAT 1 and 2, these are your batteries, so click on, you'll hear that click. Yep. Once that is on, you want to go to the APU here, master switch, click that on, and then click start. Basically, this turns on your auxiliary power unit, which will power the aircraft when the engines are not on. All right, so now that the APU is now on, what we're going to want to do is click APU bleed, turn that on. Now, pretty much we have power to our engines and everywhere in the aircraft. If you're going to scroll up here, we're going to turn our, our ADR IRS systems, which is basically our navigation, our altitude, speed, it just gives us our instruments essentially. So we're going to go up here and switch all three dials to nav. Alright, and you can see just here, IR in a line seven minutes. So basically in seven minutes time we will have our map, our altitude, our, all of our instruments will be on within seven minutes. So we'll wait for that to turn on before doing anything else. Also just want to mention that the time it takes for the instruments to align is determined by the latitude that we sit on. So basically the further north or south we are of the equator, the longer it will take to align. So just keep that in mind if you do see different times from where you're flying. All right, as you can see, instruments are now online. We now have our map here with our location. So, basically what we're going to do next is turn up the brightness of all our screens. Which you can find the knobs here for the two monitors here. For the monitors here, it is these dials at the top here. Turn it up. Oops, sorry, no I lied, it's for the instruments at the top here. For the monitors here, it should be Ecamm upper display and lower display. There we go, and for the MCDU, it's just this bright and dim. So just click bright and it will go brighter. Once you're at that stage, you've pretty much got everything on that you need to turn on. Um, everything else will be when you're pushing back and getting ready to start your engines, which I will cover in the next video. So if you guys did enjoy that tutorial and found it helped, let me know down in the comments. Chuck a subscribe if you wanna. But other than that guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a good one.